What's up everyone, Nick here from TV Box Stop and welcome back to another new and exciting review. What I have for you today is an affordable 34 inches curved high quality gaming monitor from JLink. These monitors have been trending lately as they cost about half of what you would pay for big name brands, yet they deliver excellent display quality and features. So in this review, we take a look at what this very large curved gaming monitor has to offer and if for the price is what you have been looking for. So don't go anywhere, you have that right after this. So I'm back. And it's a very large package weighing approximately 29 pounds and in it contains the curved gaming monitor itself a tilt, height and swivel support column, a Y-shaped metal support base, one high quality display port cable, a 24 volts, 7 amps, 168 watts DC power supply, a 3 pin AC power cable for the power supply, a pack of screws for the assembly and a user manual. So before I proceed with the assembly, let's take a look at its input output peripherals. For cable management, it comes with a removable cover to gain access to its IO ports and a cable guide ring. For input output, you get two HDMI display inputs, one display port, one USB Type-C port, a headphone jack, two USB 3.0 ports, one can be used for charging devices, one Ethernet LAN port, one USB upstream port for extending your device's USB port by using it as a hub and its DC power socket. The assembly process is as easy as 1, 2, 3. Step 1. Position the monitor so that the back panel faces upwards. Step 2. Secure the metal Y-shaped support base to the support column using the included screws. And step 3. Position the top of the support column into the allocated slots behind the monitor and gently press down to snap it into place. And that's it, you're done. With such a large display, let's look at its external features. Firstly, it has a 3.54 inches vertical movement allowing it to rise as high as 6.5 inches above the surface and drop as low as 2 and 3 quarter inches. Next, it has a 20 degrees backward tilt and a 5 degrees forward tilt. It has a 5 degrees pivot in either direction and due to the width of the screen, it's restricted and it cannot pivot a full 180 degrees to portrait mode. It has a 20 degrees swivel in either direction. To its rear, it has an RGB light around the verse amount and it can be controlled from within the settings area. For its on-off switch and to navigate its on-screen display menu, they provided a rocker joystick with an OK button to its base. And for audio, it has built-in speakers. And now onto its main feature. Its display measures 34 inches diagonally with a 1 cm in-screen bezel to the top and sides, a 2 cm frame bezel at the bottom with a 1500 radius curvature. It uses a VA panel with a 128% sRGB and a 96% DCL-P3 color gamut to deliver immersive viewing and excellent display. It has a contrast ratio of 4000 to 1 with 400 candler square meter brightness, anti-glare feature and low blue light technology to protect your eyes. It can do resolutions of 3440 by 1440p up to 144Hz refresh rate recommended, but it can do 4K 2160p up to 60Hz maximum which is not recommended because the display is a little stretched. It has additional features such as picture by picture display and a picture in picture display that I'll get to in just a moment. To access its on screen menu to make adjustments to its display and other features, simply press the rocker to pull up the on screen display and follow the rocker controls to make adjustments. In the settings area, you have display options where you can adjust its brightness, contrast, 
black equalize, aspect ratio, sharpness and a DCR or you can use presets from the list provided. Under color, you can adjust its color temperature, gamma level, hue, saturation and low blue light settings. Under gaming setup, you can turn on FreeSync mode, overdrive, game assist, MPRT and low lag input. Under advanced settings, you can set HDR from off to auto detect. You can turn on the KVM feature which will enable the USB up feature. And you can overclock the monitor's refresh rate up to 165Hz. But please note, this is an overclocking feature that could result in overheating or damage to its hardware. So only use it if you know what you are doing to avoid voiding your warranty. Under input is where you can manually select its input source or set it to auto detect. And you also have the settings to turn on or off its picture by picture and picture in picture feature. Under system settings, you can change its language. Adjust its RGB lighting feature. You can change the position of its on-screen display and the transparency. You can manually adjust its speaker volume and reset all features to factory default. I'll now perform a picture and sound quality test with front and angle viewing and using its internal speaker. So during this 4K AV1 video, its brightness, color gamut and color temperature are of a very high quality, so much so that it makes you feel like you can actually touch what's in the display. With its curved design, viewing at angles minimizes picture loss and maintains a very watchable display without getting washed out. Its internal speaker however, though you can hear it, its treble and bass are not the best and you should only use it as a last resort. After all, this is a gaming monitor, so let's take a look at its display quality and refresh rate when connected to my gaming PC. So its graphics detail, rendering and refresh rate delivers smooth high quality display with no lag. And finally, due to its extra wide display, it can accommodate viewing two displays from different sources at the same time using its picture by picture or picture in picture display feature. In summary, this 34 inches model by J-Link does not disappoint when it comes to display quality, durable build and innovative features. If you are not accustomed to widescreen displays, it may take some time getting used to training your eyes to all of that extra real estate and learning the new resolution settings for apps and games to fill the screen. 
In comparison to other big name brands, you can pay as high as $500 for a model with similar specs, but you can get this model for only $329 using the $70 discount coupon on the Amazon purchase page. So I urge you to check it out and if this product is too much for you, they provide 24 and 27 inches models under $200. So see the link in the description if you are interested. So once again, I would like to thank you for watching my video. If you like the reviews that I do here, then all I ask of you is that you click that thumbs up button to show your support and appreciation. Another way you can contribute to this channel is by using my affiliate links in the description directly below this video, even if it means just viewing the product for a few seconds. It goes a long way in helping to attract new sponsors and also provides the means for me to acquire new products for review. So go ahead, take a look and thanks again for using my links. If this is the first time you're viewing one of my videos, then I urge you to click that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.